All right, we're doing it. Here we go, tech dragons. Let's do it. We better not deny it. Yeah. We got tech dragons. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our last meme tier Monday deck of the week. It's going to be tech dragons. What this is going to be is this is going to be a dragon deck, as you can tell, with Aurelian Soul, Eclipse Dragon, and Violus Vox, Fused Firebrand. So we'll have lots of dragons. And more ways to make more dragons, right? Inviolus Vox and Eclipse Dragon can make more dragons for us. But then we're going to try to turn those dragons into tech technology with the glorious evolution it has the ability to make our cards minus one cost augment are created by glorious evolution and are now tech so that's what we're going to try to do why well, i don't know because it's meme tier monday that's why <laughs> so we'll have tech dragons we're going to have victor uh, for the created cards also and then one heimerdinger instead of the third aurelian soul you yeah, know because that that deals with the tech um, also, and that's kind of our top end. It should be really cool. Should be really fun. Besides that, we're just going to have card draw removal uh, blockers, right? Like Blue Sentinel is going to be a good blocker. Ballistic Bot will create some create some cards. We're going to be trying to create a lot of cards. Gifts from Beyond is going to be a key in the deck because it's not only going to be a created card, but these moon weapons will have like Severum with the life steal, so that will help us stay alive. We can try to give like one of these big dragons life steal that way. We'll have protection for our champions and our dragons with Astral Protection and Bastion. Um, more removal with Get Excited, Mystic Shot, Thermogenic Beam. Fallen Feline will just be a blocker that makes the Hexite Crystal. Maybe we find the Hexite Crystal with Time Trick. Playing Time Trick, so Time Trick can go find us Glorious Evolution. Or maybe like Eclipse Dragon or Aurelian Soul if we need like one part of that combo. You know, Time Trick just kind of does its thing. Um, there we go. So that's, that's going to be the deck. So let's give it a try. Some tech dragons. We'll go play on over in normal. We'll go play our five games over there. And here we go. Jarvan Tarek. All right. So they're going to have their challengers. Bunch of barriers and challengers. That's not great for Victor or Heimer, but maybe our dragons can be large enough to be able to deal with them. Um, I do like the Eclipse Dragon into Aurelian Soul, but that's not until round seven and round eight. But this game's probably going to go to round 7, round 8, I think. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> maybe not, if we don't find anything else to play before that. Seems like a good thing to miss a shot. What's up, Dredger? Alright, so Glorious Evolution. I love you. I'm sorry. But we're gonna have to. Gonna have to discard you. So this Ibex is going to have 5 health. Yuck. Well, we'll kill this, take 4. And then try to figure out how to deal with this Ibex. It's going to go back to 4 health. Ooh, Hush could be good. Hush does turn it back into a 1-2, so it still dies... Or so, like, my, my uh, some treasure still dies if they, you know, use sharp side or whatever. Break their spirits and their swords. What seems to be the problem? And yeah, my hammer's probably gonna die, but. It's not about the Heimer. It's about staying alive, getting Eclipse Dragon Aurelian Soul. That's what it's about. It's about the Aurelian Soul. Yeah, because they'll use Gem, Gem. 
I can hush. And then they use Sharp Sight after that. But it forces the Sharp Sight out of their hand. And you never know, maybe they don't have Sharp Sight, but that does force that out of their hand for like a Taric later. Oh, okay. Not playing it. Then maybe they didn't have it. It's the good single combat. Okay. We'll take it. Get some more damage on this frightened Ibex. Cool. So we have survived. We have found things to do. We're going to Eclipse Dragon next round, then Aurelian Soul. And then kind of hope we win from there. There's only three cards over there. I'll save the spell mana for Mystic Shot busting up barriers. Jarvan comes in with a barrier. We'll be able to Mystic Shot it. This is acceptable. If we level up Aurelian Soul and cast Living Legends, <laughs> it'll co cost zero, give us all the mana, give us all, all sorts of zero mana celestials, you know, that, that's game over right there. I kind of feel like this is going to be a concerted strike, which I guess I can't stop. But if it is a concerted strike, it's still like they have basically no cards left. Their Jarvan's gone. You know, like all that kind of stuff. Like we're we're still in complete control. It is a concerted strike, but on not on the thing that I thought it would be. Okay, really and soul. Keep doing your thing. They will shine. Which includes attacking for ten. I think our tech dragons have this one. Specifically with the dragons. Oh my gosh. That could get silly later. Alright, cool. A little word there. Tech Legends. Alright, so I'm going to be playing a Living Legends. Yeah. Now they'll pay attention. 16 power, 20, 20. Yeah, let's just play one of these. Alright, Supernova. Alright. 
That will do. All right, one and O oh for Aurelian Soul, and that's why I kept the Eclipse Dragon plus Aurelian Soul in the opener. Because if we get to survive, get to that, that is really powerful. Viego with Ionia. All right, let's see what they got. Let's see, keeping all these. Like the Hush is going to be good against Viego, but that's like a lot later on. Not necessarily a lot later on. I'll send it back. Cool, cool. I like the cards in our deck. This could maybe be sending Mystic Shot back, because, like, think about, like, what is Mystic Shot really going to be killing? I want Victor right now, I think. Hmm. I guess we found what Mystic Shot's gonna kill. I'll go ahead and do that before next round, before they can protect it next round. Hey, there's Victor. Tough, good. Now, twin disciplines kills it. Yes, of course. The whole world will know my language. I don't think I have anything really for like gifts from beyond for Viego. I want a Ballistic Bot, right? It's 50 50 shot between Ballistic Bot and Blue Sentinel. But the thing is, is let's see. Okay, no, it just summons the two costs. It doesn't shuffle the deck, okay. So it doesn't shuffle the Hexite Crystals back into the deck. I want to be able to create a new dragon. Like that's that's what I want to do. But yeah, they did have that twin disciplines. That I even talked about before. Man, that's just gonna make the death rays, and I don't want to draw death rays. All right, I guess they just got me. I guess I just I just messed up. Shouldn't attack. Because I want, I want better, you know, we need to find an answer for this Viego, right? Like, the Death Rays aren't going to be an answer to the Viego. The Victor getting Challenger could help. I think I may just discard the other victor with the Sum Treasure. I, I kind of feel like this game, the second victor, isn't going to matter. It's going to be 15 with that thing. Yeah, it's basically, if, if we can't kill the Viego, we lose. No 
Challenger. What did it get? Elusive. That's gonna do. This is just what we were doing with, with our opponents last round, last you know, last deck. You just play, you just play Viego, and the game's over. We just, I don't have a removal for Viego, do I? And that's, I guess, that's an oversight. I mean, I have the the hush. Hush would have been nice. I I shouldn't have mulliganed that hush. I thought that was gonna be yeah, I should look in the hush. But of course, like this levels up, round start, kill stuff. Alright. We don't need to sit around, that game's over. I must advance. I must improve. Okay, but being Ionia like that, they probably have deny. Also, like for Sunburst, but you know, like the round that they play it, you could have some time. Freljord Sharima? Do I have time? What's Freljord Sharima? Can I just like sit back and Ballistic Bot a bunch? I'm guessing, my, my best guess is Howling Abyss. Siphoning Strike. Yetis are like another gas, but guessing Howling Abyss. Gonna catch the sky. You think it's a landmark deck, a thrall deck? I guess yeah, thralls could have been an option. You know, obviously, you know now I, I I know a little bit more than whenever you put that in there. But yeah, thralls could have been a good option. Merciless Hunter is a common, lol. Alright, just doing this to make it their challenge of the Ballistic Bot a little bit more rough on them, right? Like if I just play the other Ballistic Bot, they're challenging a, a one, one power. At least it's going to be two power now. I'm gonna have an extra mana next round. Is there anything I can do with that? Not really with any of those. Humanity is obsolete. Unfortunately, that just goes that puts us to six mana, right? Not the seven. Perfection. Unfortunately, not the seven. Yeah, so far they've only played commons. These are all great commons of it, you know, just Omen Hawk Sentry, Merciless Hunter, these are all commons. More if they got an all common deck. We could definitely do it this game. Tech dragons, tech dragons. Yeah, they howling abyss siphoning strike. That's the deck. Down to seven. 
With that aggressive start and with Blighter Ravine Ice Shard doing Nexus damage, we are down to seven. I'm just gonna save spell mana. Uh, no champions over here. But yet they played Siphoning Strike and they don't have any champions, so... Assuming it's a Howling Abyss deck, I think that's a pretty fair assumption. Written in stars? That could give me a victor. And I want to play this Glorious Evolution. Alright, we're doing it. Here we go, Tech Dragons. Let's do it. You better not deny it. Yeah! We got tech dragons. Whoa. Alright, cost zero. So now they have fury and augment. If it's a fight they want. Be quiet. Yeah, that was an interesting time to play Battle Fury. We'll just pretend like they blocked and then Battle Furyed. Alright, level up Aurelian Soul with our Tech Dragon. The Augment, adding in more power. See, it all it all works together. Please, opponent, don't concede. I want to draw Victor with the Written in Stars. Okay, we can frostbite that. Yes, Victor! Oh, wow, Victor's only 4 out of 7. 5 out of 7. Maybe I should be playing the Scourge while it costs 0, but, you know, we're alright. Yeah, Variety Stream Day, yeah, that is, that's something that I'm looking into. Alright, GG's! Really in soul. Heck, dragons. We were able to do it. Got our combo. Okay, back to Thresh Nasus. Let's see if we can pay him back. That was the only deck that defeated us with the Viego Yetis a little bit ago. Let's see if we can pay them back for it. All right, so this they are pretty fast. I, you know, as we saw the first time, I like the Eclipse Dragon into Aurelian Soul, and that's how we've been winning. But they are pretty fast. I'm not sure if I can keep it. No, we should just keep it. It's it's so powerful. It's how we're going to win games. So the rest of our cards, draw something good. Because I need to, yeah, we need to have Eclipse Dragon on 7, Aurelian Soul on 8. That's how we're going to be winning this game. Okay, obviously drawing another glorious evolution and Aurelian Soul is not part of the plan. Obviously. We gotta save Hush for Nasus. Spotlight night this week? I'm not exactly sure. Let's, we'll see how tomorrow goes. So starting tomorrow for the, this next week, I'm going to be working on ranking up because I realized that the season's almost over, seasonal tournaments in just a couple of weeks, and so we got to rank up to get qualified for that. And so that's what I'm going to work on starting tomorrow. And so we'll see how tomorrow goes. If we do pretty good tomorrow, then maybe we'll do the, the spotlight night on Wednesday night this week. But we may have to again delay that again. Six. 
So while we got the Eclipse Dragon in a round early, it doesn't help me play the Aurelian Soul next round, but it's still good to have. See what we see, soldier. So they're leveling up Thresh. Two, right? Yeah. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe I just hush the thresh right here. See their huts? No, I, I should probably just double hush. Okay. So no astral protection. That's that's the thing is I have to play a third blocker to double hush the Nasus's, so I don't get to astral protection as well. One mana short. Really powerful we wizard. Yeah, it's meme tier Monday. Bring that hype. Yes, yeah, so we'll see how tomorrow goes, whether or not we're, we'll, we will be um, doing the spotlight night. See, it would have been nice to have the Astral Protection right here to save the Fused Firebrand also. So that saves one Nasus. No, I'm, I'm not going to be in worlds. My avarice and hatred. They will learn just as we did. Just for the next seasonal tournament. Looks like I should have hushed the, you know, especially with them having that that thresh at the bottom. I wish I would have hushed the thresh, and then had the astral protection available, and not played the two one. I guess that's that's what I wish I would have done. All that stuff, but obviously we're really dead now. Not much to do here. Dang. And yeah, playing playing meme tier decks all, all day every day. You don't get it, you don't get vital worlds with that. Certainly isn't my fault. All right, and let's see if we can get a winning record. We need to win this one, and then we'll have all winning records with our meme tier decks. We are going to have a tough test, though, we're with um, Aurelia Azir. What we've learned is the best deck right now, I guess. Somebody was saying what they had like the new stats that came out that. This is the second most played deck, and it has a 55% win rate. It's a very high win rate. A really Azir, that is. <laughs> Not Tech Dragons. So kept the Fuse Firebrand, because it's a great blocker. It's got the Spell Shield, so they can't just bounce it. It's got the Fury. Quick hands make quick work. Yes, good. Something to play here. You do that? And a good blocker. All in the shoulders. Yeah. 
If I block here... Hopefully no bounce for the victor. Wow. At least they, like, they did that wrong, obviously, because then they, they made it so I didn't have to wait, you know, they didn't make me waste my mana on the Hexcore upgrade before the Will of Ionia, but, um, so not, not too bad. I mean, it slows them down around. Play that thing with the spell shield. Whoa. Unexpected. Alright, back to work, powerful wizard. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. Scared him. Scared him off from blocking. Or from attacking with that thing. Wow. So it could have gone both. Wow, and then they just passed? So they waste three mana? No, I should have died. So it could have gone both Victor and some treasure. But. I like this though. Get them dragons. Okay, double discipline of force. Getting those cards out of their hand. We can maybe have tech dragons this game also. Where they fall, freedom grows. How close are you? Seven out of fourteen? Alright, so not very close. We're just gonna grow the dragons. Grow, grow, grow the dragons. Fury is a good keyword. So they're at 10 out of 14, so that thing's still not coming down yet. Just kind of holding, holding up the hush. Yeah, because if they were going to attack and have something. Glorious Evolution. Yeah. Is this greedy? Absolutely. It might be. But we're playing Tech Dragons. And all right. Immediate concession. I'm still going to be able to play two blockers if that resolves. You know, with the, the zero mana feline, the one mana blue sentinel. GG's. So there we go, that was Tech Dragons. That was a lot of fun to play. I liked playing this. I like playing dragons, like with the fury and everything. That's that's a really cool keyword. Dragons are great at blocking. And then combining them with Victor, also another really fun champion. Glorious Evolution, super fun card. You know, really in Souls a fun card. This was a fun deck to play. I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. And that's what Meme, Meme Tier Monday is all about, right? Finding fun decks and playing those. We, we struggled a little bit against Victor. Didn't really have enough answers for that specific champion. But that's alright. But besides, you know, besides that, we did pretty good. You could play like Sunburst. That could be an option that we were saying. Um, you know, something else. Uh, but yeah. Got those hushes in there. Yeah, that was fun. Alright, that's Tech Dragon. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments as well. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Uh, I sure did. <laughs> that's for sure and if you try out the deck yourself let me know how it goes with it 
you know, leave those comments. All right, but that's going to be it here for Tech Dragon. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.